Hello, everyone. Say hi, fat puppies. Say hi, these are my potatoes. Yes. Chiquitas, um, these are actually Chiquita and Burton's. They are an English line. Yes, yes. F2BB Mini Golden Doodles. Hi. Hello. Yes, and this is their first video. Although, they are just over three weeks old. I know. Say, I'm running a little behind. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's just four guys. That's it. Yes. Look at this coat. Is this not the most amazing coat ever? Look at this color. It's just, yes. Very distinguished. Um, we have three girls and just one little boy in this litter. Um, Takita usually has like eight puppies in the litter. So it could be that my inseminating was um, cut short because of my spinal surgery. That could be it. Maybe we, we missed uh, the main ovulation there. We're not sure, but this is our only little boy. And look, guys, he has a chocolate nose. Chocolate nose, yes. And we're talkative. Say, well, yes, we're, we're a little primarily of girls. We're gonna talk. We are gonna talk. Look at you. Look at you. Well, let's just go ahead and look at him. <laughs> Burgundy girl hair, look at that little white paw. Come here. Boy, she is a dark red, isn't she? Let's just go ahead and get started. Yes. These are chunky, monkey, fat little potatoes. Because there's only four. And mama usually has a big litter. She is a good milker. And I call them potatoes because when they're all laying there, before they're able to do this, and walk around, they look like a bunch of little potatoes just side by side. So let's go with purple girl first. Are you unsure about me holding you like this? Yes. Purple girl, that just unique coloring. And the beautiful English faces. Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel good? Yes. But I mean, this coloring is just amazing. Now you can see with everybody, She's, she's kind of lighter. It's, it's almost like a two-tone. You want to go next? All right. Pink collar is a little smaller than purple. And she is a dark red. Hi. Hello. Now, these are all soft cotton wavy coats. They are still non-shedding, even though they're a wavy coat. And let's see if I can reach. Oh, my gosh. Still having to work on, on my being able to bend and reach. Um, all right, burgundy collar girl with the little white tips of the paws and she is super, super dark red. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Are you sticking your tongue out at me? Are you? Yes. Where did you go? Where are you going? Come here. Do you hear your mama? Is mama calling you? And you want mama because, yeah, you haven't had enough to eat, have you? I doubt that. That's okay. I'm a big girl, too. Yes. Us big girls have to stick together, don't we? All right, guys. And then the one, there's a look at all the girls there, side by side by side. Yes. Yes. Hi. Hello there. Yes. All right, we have a kind of a lighter peanut butter color. I mean, he's a light red, but I would really call him more like a jar of peanut butter. And he's got that beautiful chocolate nose. Yes. Say hi there. Oh, look at you. He is just precious. Aren't you precious? You and your sisters. Are you taking care of them or are they taking care of you? Yeah. So at week three, we usually start gruel, which is the puppy's first food. It's, it's like a, a mush, I call it. It's a combination of their food, um, which is a premium puppy food, a milk replacer, a puppy formula, a um, 
nutritional supplement and warm water. We blend that all together to like an oatmeal consistency. And that is usually what they eat. Are we eating gruel? Say, these babies are fat just on mama's milk. And until they get hungry off of mama's milk, they're not going to go for that. I keep thinking this is a wet spot. It's just color. They, um, they're not going to go for that gruel unless they are hungry enough. So because they've got all mama's good milk in them, they don't need gruel, and they're not going to want gruel just yet. But they will get that coming up. And then once they get their teeth in or start getting their teeth buds, they'll start eating some solid kibble on top of that gruel. And then once everybody has their teeth, we go ahead and replace that gruel with solid kibble. And that is the, the wean process right there. Yes. So what we're working on right now is um, everybody gets one of these. I like using these wonderful bath mats. for, um, And it's a special bath mat. It's not just like any kind. Trust me, we've tried them all. But you can see this one's getting old. It's starting to come apart here, so we're going to have to get new ones. But um, everybody has their bath mat. And off of the bath mat, they have a potty pad. And at just two weeks old, you can hear see these puppies. They want to be part of it. At just two weeks old, they start their potty training process. Even before their eyes are open, they use their sense of smell and they can feel the different surfaces. And they will go from the bed to the potty pads and use the potty pad. So eventually we move the potty pads further and further away from the bed until they're going outside and they're getting used to hearing their potty training bells. So the potty training actually starts at two weeks old, very early on. Look at light pink. Are you very sociable? Say, I just want to talk. I just want to be part of this. Yes. And at two weeks old, this is, we're not going to do much. We're going to go to sleep. We're not going to have a lot of energy right now. But next week, they'll be walking around more. Look at you. Trying to get comfortable into a dog pile, aren't you? Yep. And you don't mind being the one at the bottom of the pile, do you? Say no. I sure don't. Where are you going? That's not your mama. It's not your mama, no. Come here and I'll take you to your mama. It's not an empty promise, I promise you. So next week is going to be another um, preventative deworming. We do this every two weeks until they go home. Um, deworming is just part of what you must do if you have dogs. And so um, we started at this level. And then when you get to your vet, you will be put on a heartworm prevention and a regular uh, monthly dewormer. And uh, that's just kind of part of owning a dog. Because guess what? You're a dog. I know. You're like, oh, my gosh. I know. They're always surprised when they learn that. When they learn that they're, they're members of the family, but they're they're part of the canine family, and they're just not understanding that. See, I thought I was people. I sure did. All right, guys, we are running out of. I'm not sure what my what my thing is doing here. Okay. There we go. I think I hit Surrey or something like that. Anyway, uh, so we are uh, there. We're going to let you guys go. Next week, we'll see more of them. They will be a little more active for you. And um, whoop, whoop, come here. That can't be comfortable. No. <laughs> they want mama. They are all about the buffet. I want my buffet. It's dinner time. All right, guys. I will let you go, and I will see you next week. Can you say bye-bye? I'm not your mama either. I'll pretend. I'll pretend. All right, guys. We'll see you next week.